Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen XO, and as you can see, I am in VR, and I'm on an exotic planet, and oh, it's amazing! But that's not the only amazing thing, chums. I have got my freighter in low orbit, and this is the base that Boyd built me. Now, let's take a look at our great. And it doesn't render in all that well, does it, really, in VR? Now, in 2D, you've seen this. It is a marvel. It's a marvel to behold. So let's go venture inside this marvel. Um, we can do that by teleporting. Huzzah! I have teleported like Paul Daniels. Okay, right, so here we are. In the rear end of the, um, the actual uh, base, and it, it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to head up this ramp into its actual hull. And it looks not so good. Okay. Um, at least I'm not falling through the floor. Yet. And behind me it's like... I just came through a door there. The door has gone. Right, okay. So, as you can see, chums. In VR, base building and base navigation is somewhat hit and miss. You have to sort of gingerly walk about to then find... That your world does not exist behind you. Chums! What is going on? What is going on? Yeah, so I was hoping to come here and be completely in awe of this build because it is freaking magnificent. I mean, let's face it, Boyd done me a solid on this. This is. But now I can see my freighter up there and stuff. I mean, yeah, I did test this to destruction just to see what would happen in VR. But yeah, I'm going to come back here now in non-VR yeah I'm gonna actually just save straight here uh, so I'm gonna reappear directly in my base and I'm gonna come here in non-VR and just show you the draw distance and the fact that everything works okay in non-VR now I do know that VR it takes a strain and stuff but yeah when you're tr talking about something that gives you immersion this doesn't do it does it really when you come to a base or whatever but I'm finding this happens on trade stations as well so yeah I'm really hoping that these new patches that have been coming out on PC and improving VR come to PlayStation I'll be retesting this in a future episode chums with this base just to sort of give an idea of level of draw distance and complexity that VR can handle on the PlayStation VR because yeah um, if you've bought this just for VR and you want the VR experience, this is a little bit odd. But yeah, yeah, just a bit of a test, a bit of a test. Anyway, save a mondo. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in normal mode. Okay, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Well, hello there, chums. I am back in normal mode, and as you can see, everything is how it should be. Yeah, I even have my tables back, my computers, my flags, my lights, and all the detail that you would expect with inside of this base. And yeah, my door's back. Fantastic, my back doors have been reinstalled. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to not have your back doors installed. Right, okay, so yeah, this is my base, and this is where I'm hoping to do some interviews down on these sofas. I was hoping to do them in VR, but it looks like I'm going to have to do those in normal 2D mode. But anyway, let's just uh, venture outside. Now, what I would say is I am uh, in normal mode far more than I am in VR at the moment however I would like to be using VR a heck of a lot more because then you can see these sort of marvels well you can see these sort of marvels in normal mode but at the moment you can't see them in VR and all their glory and splendor I, I do know that they are working on lots of patches for PC and hopefully those PC patches that help the VR instances will be coming over to the PS VR and maybe improving that I mean I don't know whether cross coding is a thing or what or how it actually exists or or whatever I mean it could be restricted to hardware it could just be that VR is never going to catch up but one can hope can't they they can hope and I do hope and I am a positive chap so hopefully that's going to happen who, who knows but anyway you guys out there if you want to join me for an interview, you're more than welcome to. You just sort of have to hit me up on uh, PlayStation Network, and it's Land of Shadows, all one word. Yeah, I am hoping to do an interview with Mr. MZK this uh, Tuesday coming at 6.30 GMT. Yeah, I just got to cross the I's and dot the T's and the other way around, and hopefully that will happen. I mean, I, I do know that plans can get scuppered, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll have Mr. MZK joining us for a, an interview perhaps we can talk a little bit about beyond and things like that but yeah um, so tune in for that guys tune in tune in but yeah anyway if you guys out there want to join me for an interview you're more than welcome like i say anyhow so 
I am hoping to do a lot more multiplayer anyway. So every Thursday night or Saturday morning or whenever, if you guys out there, my chums, wish to join me in multiplayer, just add me on PlayStation Network, there's Land of Shadows, and whenever I go online and I'm looking to start playing, I'd invite you to sort of like a party chat and then invite you in game. And yeah, up to four people at once that is. But yeah, Patreons, they probably come first come first serve but yeah until then chums thank you very much for watching and yeah take care for now goodbye 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 <laughs> thank you and a shout out to all of my patreon supporters thank you very much there guys and if you want to see your name at the end of one of my videos like this one there is a tier for that it's one pounds fifty per month to appear on my patreon and yeah but there are other tiers as well so there's one there for five pounds a month which will get you on the tier for 3d ship models and i'm hoping to get one I get a 3D printer from all the funds from Patreon and I'll be shipping those out to people that have backed me on Patreon once or twice a year depending on whereabouts you are in the world and yes I'm slowly but surely heading towards my goal which is about 400 pounds so thank you very much the music for my videos was made by Nerve Nerve is fantastic please go check him out he's on my featured channels list on my channel Okay, so I now have my own website, which is www.nmsa.yolosite.com. Please check it out. On there you'll find merch, including t-shirts, mugs, thermos, flasks, and all sorts of other wonderful, gnarly stuff. So yeah, please go check out my merch. And yes, and also on the site I make watch faces for Android devices. And they're free! If you could please hit like and subscribe, or even one of these links that's on the screen now and stay with Captain Steve and Exo, I'm going to be longer.